Dominoes, Level 1 Peter Pan by J. M. Barry Adapted by Alex Raynham Read by Stephen France, Lawrence Kennedy, Greg Lowe, Tamarin Payne, Kate Rawson, David Shaw Parker, Jill Schilling and Jade Williams Published and copyright, Oxford University Press, 2015 Peter Pan Published by arrangement with Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity. www.gosh.org Chapter 1 Dreaming of Peter Pan Every morning, Mr. and Mrs. Darling kissed their children, Wendy, John, and Michael, goodbye. Then, Nana, the dog, brought their coats and walked them to school. When the children came home from school, they always played in Neverland. Neverland is different for every child, but all children play there. For Wendy and her brothers, Neverland was a beautiful island with Indians and angry pirates. One night, Mrs. Darling put the children into bed. Then she gave Michael his medicine. Peter Pan doesn't like medicine, Wendy said. Mrs. Darling remembered Peter Pan from when she was young. He lived with the fairies, she thought. But he wasn't a real boy. Real boys grow up. One morning, Mrs. Darling found some flowers in the children's room. Peter Pan left them, said Wendy. He comes here at night when we're sleeping. Wendy's only dreaming thought Mrs. Darling. But where did the flowers come from? That night, Mrs. Darling told the children stories. They were soon asleep, and Mrs. Darling was asleep too. Suddenly, Mrs. Darling opened her eyes. The windows were open, and there was a boy in the room. Mrs. Darling remembered him at once. Peter Pan! She cried. Peter flew out of the window, but Nana caught his shadow in her teeth. Mrs. Darling put the shadow away, but she was afraid. He's going to come back for it, she thought. Nana was afraid too. The next evening, she made a lot of noise when Mr. and Mrs. Darling went out. But Mr. Darling put her out into the garden. Later, Peter and a fairy came back for the shadow. Wendy woke up and saw them. Who's your friend, Peter? She asked. That's Tinkerbell, he said. She's a fairy. Peter found his shadow, but he couldn't put it on. I'll sew it on for you, Wendy said. It isn't easy to sew a shadow onto somebody, but Peter didn't cry. Now, thank me with a kiss, Wendy said when she finished. Tinkerbell flew here and there angrily, but Peter gave Wendy a button. He didn't know about kisses. I often come to your window and listen to your mother's stories, Peter said. Then I tell them to the lost boys. Who are they? Wendy asked. Boys with no mothers, Peter answered. They live with me in Neverland. 
There aren't any mothers there. Peter was very happy with his shadow, and he danced. Come to Neverland and tell us stories, he said. I can teach you to fly. What about my brothers? Wendy asked. Can you teach them too? Oh, all right, said Peter. Wendy woke them up. Peter taught the children how to fly. Nana could see them from the garden. She ran here and there, but she couldn't do anything. Then Mr. and Mrs. Darling came home. Quick! cried Mrs. Darling. The children! Thank you.